Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Walton, and in this short little video, you're gonna see me testing smart drugs. And rather than putting all on there, so that's one pill. Okay, hold. No, that's not happening, hold. That's an absolute no. Now, smart drugs are supposedly drugs that increase our memory, our ability to focus and concentrate, and our ability to learn things easily, retain it and recall it. Now, all of that would be very useful if they work. So you're gonna see me testing three of the main smart drugs on two different people. Just a quick one, I am using muscle testing, what's called kinesiology, to test the reaction of the subconscious brain. Does the body go into stress or is the body open, no problem at all, it works fine. So when you see the arm going down nice and relaxed, there's no stress response. When the arm bites and it goes stiff, that's the body, the brain, having a stress response to the drug. So let's test these three drugs and see what happened. I have three, what are called smart drugs. Three smart drugs that biohackers use and Silicon Valley dudes use and that sort of thing to try and enhance brain function. So we've got modafinil here, which is well publicized by Dave Asprey, if you're familiar with Dave, the biohacker. Uh, he said he took this for nine days, nine years straight and it really helped him with his MBA. So I'm going to test modafinil on Tom. We also have two new kiddies in, on the block, which is Paracetam and Nupept. So again, these are smart drugs. So um, what I'm going to do, I have a little amplifying device behind his head. We have the same one here I'm going to put on his gut. And I'm just going to put one of these drugs on the amplifying device, which communicates with his gut there and we'll see what happens to his body. Does his body stay open and relaxed with that drug or does he get into a stress response? So let's see. Nice and strong. So a nice and open response. As soon as I put this on here, hold, we have a stress response. So this is the thing with all drugs that doesn't seem to be mentioned by biohackers. All drugs have a side effect of toxicity. As Tom's putting that into, as we put this into his body, hold, the body goes into stress, that's a stress response. Now, to be fair, there are 10 pills there. So let's just take one out, and let's put one right on his gut under the amplifier. Hold, hold, hold. That's a stress response, that's a big stress response. As you're bringing that drug into his system on his gut, the nervous system's having a stress reaction. So that's one out of three that if he was here with me as a client, there's no way I would recommend he takes that because that's switching his brain off, bringing toxicity and stress into his body. So no matter how good it sounds or how good it sounds from biohackers experience, there's always a payoff when you take a drug and that's a no-no for him. So we have two more to go. Let's try this one. Now Tom doesn't know what, what this is. It makes no difference to him. And hold, again, hold. And so I take that off, hold, nice and open, bring that onto his body, hold and we have a stress response. The body's doing exactly that. As soon as we're bringing this compound into his system, mm, stress response, I wouldn't recommend he takes that. Two out of three is a no. Number three, hold, that's probably the worst one. Hold, that's paracetam. Again, three smart drugs. What are those drugs doing for him? Yes, they'll have an effect on his brain, but the negative side effects of that, just based on this test, I would not recommend those at all. They're bringing stress into his system. So three starts, three smart drugs, three no's. There you go. But I think the interesting thing is that's a very healthy, Tom's a very healthy 27 year old man who's fit, healthy, looks after himself, there's zero stress in his organs. And we put three smart drugs into the system and he has a stress reaction. So you just imagine if you're not healthy and you're not as fit as Tom, which is for most people, you know, that's gonna have a negative impact. Yet you're thinking, oh great, these are making me sharp, more focused, more concentrated, but what else are they doing? Blocking your liver, draining your energy, you know, having a ne negative effect on your digestion. So you always have to be careful what you're taking that you think is good for you, is it good for you? And it's very difficult to know that really without a test. So what can you do? So Chris, again, another guy, mid twenties, entrepreneur, very fit, healthy guy. So we're going to test the smart drugs on Chris uh, from Primal Alchemy and to see if his body says yes, no, or it's expensive pee. So let's have a look. All right, Chris, so I'm on the couch. Let's do a quick test here. My name is Chris. My name is Chris. And hold. My name is Rachel. My name is Rachel. Good. Think of something you really, really like. And yeah. hold. Good. Think of something that stresses you a little bit, annoys you, products not arriving on time. Mm, yeah. Yeah, hold. Okay, so we've got a nice clean test. So, <clears throat> let's test this one. 
Number one. I'll just put it right on the gut. And rather than putting all on there, so that's one pill. Okay, hold. No, that's not happening. Hold. That's an absolute no. That's three separate people tested, all young, healthy, fit people tested with modafinil, and all three, it's stressing them out, stressing their body, having a negative effect on their body. So, all you biohackers out there that think modafinil is good for you, mm hmm, not on this test. Three very fit, healthy young guys screwing them over. Okay, next one. Hold. Mm -mm. Nupept. Screwing him over. Hold. Hold. Paracetam. Screwing him over. So that's three people, three smart drugs, and each one of these smart drugs, which are the, you know, the most used, Paracetam, Nupept, and Modafinil, all bringing stress into each three people's body. It's an absolute no. So I think the moral of the story is be careful what you believe and be very careful what you're taking.